It's your boy, man. We back with another bit. We back at it like crack at it. You know what I'm saying? And really, I want y'all to understand. You know, I got a mustache now. You did? I just want y'all to know, bro. I'm not trying to, you know, be disrespectful. But look, I just want y'all to check it out before we even get in the video. It's a, I woke up, bro. Saturday, right? Mind you, Friday, I didn't have a mustache. So, it's like between Friday and Saturday, the Lord had blessed me. And he said, you going to get this mustache today. I didn't want y'all to look at it, bro. You know, you know what I'm saying? Ugh! But look, bro, today, I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I don't even know what I'm cooking. I'm just going to be cooking some stuff. Let me get the mic right. I'm sorry. Look, I'm just going to be cooking some stuff, bro. I don't even know, like, what I'm going to be cooking. I just want to be cooking something. I might make some spam. I'm going to make some spam and ham. I'm gonna make some green eggs and ham with some spam. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, bro. But it's gonna be good. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be tasty. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So look, man, we are back with another bit, brush boy Aston Cody on the Sea Flower channel. And we're gonna get started. Back at it. Like crack at it. You know what I'm saying? Um For those of you who have been watching, man, thank you so much for um, you know, liking, subscribing, commenting under the comment section. I really appreciate it. Um, we really going uh we really growing as a channel as a group and as a familia you know what i'm saying i know i know a little spanish you know i don't say it too much but i know a little spanish man let me put the shades on you know what i'm saying don't 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 act like i don't know spanish because i do you know but look man we're gonna get back to the video let's get it started man you know what i'm saying give me one second to get all my stuff together and we're gonna be chilling down in this cold weather hot sauce and chili sitting in the fridge you chilling with your mama and your uncle kids. I'm a real man because I eat potato salad. Real men eat potato salad because it's what's the thing to do. What you gonna do when you come to the store and it's just me and you? Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. I just had to say that. All right. Let's get started, bro. Man, look, so... Today we making those um thing just slid on my face. Oh, today, bro, we making the um red lobster cheddar bay butter biscuits. You know what I'm saying? You know you put that oil on them, put that rub that butter on his back. That thing be look at you, look at you in the face in five minutes, bro. You know what I'm saying? Let me put my shades off. But yeah, man, making them cheddar. You know, like making them cheddar butter. Bay Bobcat Biscuits, man. You know what I'm saying? Shake and bake, bro. You know what I'm saying? Let me show y'all the box. Uh. Not too, not too crazy. So, I already put the, um, I already put the cheese up in there. You know what I'm saying? I put the cheese and everything on there already. So, let me zoom in. I want y'all to see what's going on. So, look, I put the cheese on there. And really, um, really, um, you can use any type of cheese, bro. Like if you wanna, if you were to go and 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 start, you know, sucking on a cow, you know. get the cow milk and make your own cheese that's fine too i'm not i'm not mad at you for doing that but me i just use extra sharp cheddar cheese from canada slash sam's club slash walmart you know what i'm saying so really you can use any cheese you want to use it's not like a thing that that you have to you know put too much detail now i already poured the little batter up in there i want to show y'all that real quick after that bro you know what i'm saying really after that it's not too much that kind of goes into you know what i'm saying doing this process you put the cheese in there you put the batter in there get you a you know get you a fork or a spoon oh! you know 
what I'm saying, man? You can get you a whisk like this. And you just get up in there like like Ratatouille. Man, really, it's really just like Ratatouille, bro. Whatever you see on Ratatouille, that's what you can do when you cook, bro. Like this. Huh. You know what I'm saying? You want to stir it up like that. You dig? <laughs> yeah. Mm. You just get a, you know. Like that, bro. And that's the first step, stirring it up. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times, and, and this is kind of a lesson to kind of segue into what I really want to talk about. A lot of times people will stir you up. You know what I'm saying? They'll stir your emotions up. And what you have to do is you have to deflect them. Now, I mean, you if you want to, you can use a baseball bat. I don't really care as long as you deflect the situation. You know what I'm saying? Like when people get on your nerves, bro, you have to be strong and mentally stable. You know what I'm saying? To deal with them in the first place. An example I use is kind of like it's kind of like riding a horse. Are you tempted to smack the horse booty on? You know, smack the horse on the booty? Yes. But it's gonna pull off on you. You know what I'm saying? It's really like that, man. So back, but back to the cheese, man. You know, using the che really cheese came from Germany. A lot of people don't know that. You know, fun fact: uh, cheese came from Germany, and it and it made its way to America. The black people made cheese. I mean, if you want to be technical with it. And that's, I don't really know why I got on that subject, but I did. Okay, let's get back to it. Um, Man, look. So you want to just stir it up like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, let me put the shade. Sometimes you got to put the shades on because when the grease start popping, you know, it get in your eye. So you want to put the shades and stir it like that, like that, you know, you dig. But yeah, man, just stir it up like this. Oh, I want to show y'all again. Now, it's a little bit more smooth. You know, it's a little bit more smooth. You know what I'm saying? It's a little bit more smooth this time. You dig? You know what I'm saying, bro? Check it out. Hello. You know what I'm saying? Bow. Hello. <laughs> but yeah, bro, you know, you want to stir it up a little bit, um, let it sit and marinate like a Cadillac on full flats, you know what I'm saying? Then you get the water. I don't know if y'all can see the sink. Uh, you get the water. Let me move the camera so y'all can see the sink, bro. The water, man. Let me zoom in. You know, got to love this. Look at the sink. Watch this. Get that thing. Yeah, bro. You know, you really just kind of want to stir it. But yeah, bro, you kind of want to just stir it, man, until it gets very smooth and, and, and suckable and delectable. You kind of just want to stir it like that, bro. You know, um, there's a lot of ways to skin a cat, but a cat won't get skinned unless you skin it. So just kind of stir it the way you want to stir it, you know. Now you kind of want that cream feel, like some pasta or something, bruh. Okay. You kind of want a really creamy, you know, tight feel. Real creamy, real suckable and delectable. You know what I'm saying? But look, and then sometimes you want to say a prayer just in case. Like, so let's let's say for instance, like I know what I'm doing when it comes to cooking, but let's say you are unprofessional. I mean, really, I went, I went, I went to, um, I went to cooking school at Walgreens. So, man, really, I got my degree in cooking at Walgreens. So, really, I'm really a professional when it kind of comes to cooking and stuff like that of that nature. You know what I'm saying? So, but what I want to tell you, if you're unprofessional, sometimes you, you say a little prayer. You know what I'm saying? A little prayer vigil before you cook. That way the Lord can kind of bless your food and, and you can just kind of let him know, you know, to, to, to marinate and, 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 and sanctify that, that biscuit before you put that butter on there. You know what I'm saying? So, that's what we're going to do right now. Let me, let me, um, we're going to say a little offering and, and, and sanctify the food. We pray that, um, that the bit, that the butter rolls off the biscuits, like, 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 like Meghan Markle rolled out of England. We, we, we pray that, 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 that the, that the butter is disrespectful to the biscuits like Red Fox on that stand up comedian. You know, we, we, we hope that, 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 that the biscuits don't taste like Iggy Azalea wraps. We hope. That the biscuits are so smooth that they slide off your tongue and into your throat and you forgot that you tasted it. We hope right now that everything works for the edifying and the sanctification of the body 
as a whole. We hope and we pray that everything works out. Amen. Let it be. Let it be so. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But look, man, look. So really, that's that's the main step. And sometimes you can just go crazy with it. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you can go crazy with it. You can put something in there that ain't even supposed to be in there. Throw a uh, throw a knife in there. You know what I'm saying? Forget it. You know, throw a, uh, throw your mom's car keys in the biscuit batter. Forget it. Throw um. Throw your, throw your limited edition Samuel L. Jackson CD disc up in there. You know what I'm saying? Throw, throw that, um, you know what I'm saying? I mean, throw, uh, you, you know, throw, throw, throw that tomato truck you ain't been wanting. You know what I'm saying? Just throw it in there. You dig? My bad, bro. I had to take a break. My dog, um, he's dead, but he, um, he came back to life. He wanted some kiblets, so I had to go feed him. But, uh, yeah, man, we are, you know, really, really, bro, um, but yeah, that's really it. You can kind of put anything in the biscuits. You know, your mom's car keys, um, a rusty nail. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, the back of a CD disc. Some Don Julio, some Julio Don. Anything, bro. You can just pour it in the biscuits, and it's gonna taste good. Cause these are certified, sanctified, copyrighted, trademark. Um, red lobster biscuits, bro. So if you put anything, they still gonna taste the same. You can put candle wax, your girlfriend nasty draws. You can throw them in there, and it's still gonna taste good, man. So that's kind of really the basis of it. You can throw anything in there. So don't like if you do make these, don't be really just kind of like, oh man, I don't know if these gonna taste good. Trust me, man, they gonna taste. It don't matter, you know. It don't really matter what you put in there. It's gonna taste good, bro. You know what I'm saying? So look, bro. You get your um. I think I get my pan real quick. Um, Yeah, bro. You know, you put the, uh, you know, you put the Cadillac on the Maybach and you make that thing patty white. You know what I'm saying? That's the basis of what we do here. Um, then I, I want to show y'all a reveal, bro. I want to show y'all what's going on. Twerk and pull it now. Check this out, bro. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Make you want to scream, bro. I tell you what, boy, these are the best buttered biscuits I've ever had in my American life. Hotty toddy. But man, check this out. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know what I'm saying? You really can do anything with this when you. Ah! You know what I'm saying, bro? Yeah, you never want to drop these or nothing like that, bro. Never. And then you throw these mugs in the oven. Mm. Um, so yeah, bro, I'm gonna catch y'all back when we, um, I'm gonna catch y'all back, bro, when we get, um, you know, man, I'm back, man, you know what I'm saying? This is the taste test, bro. You know, let me wash my hands real quick, man. see how that thing tastes. Gracias por ver mucho de amor, mi amigo. Picante. Man, that's the end of the video, bro. The biscuits are so good that they rolled. They slid off my tongue, down my throat, and I forgot to taste it, bro. Like, that's the level, you know what I'm saying? That's the level we at when it comes to, you know, the biscuits and stuff. So, bro, I just want to say, man. All love and happiness, bruh. I'm out. Like that, bro. I'm going to hit y'all back when they out the oven. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I got a honey bun with a honey bun. I got a Prada bag because he proud of me. Stuff getting crazy. But, man, you know, really shaking. Remember shaking bake, man? Um, 
you know this this video was sponsored by nacho libre so please go and show him some love you know what i'm saying man please like comment and subscribe you know and we ain't done yet this is a kind of intermission to the intermission you know what i'm saying to the end of the intermission when it's intermission time you know but man i just appreciate you guys so much man you know sometimes you know i know i kind of been lax on the videos i just been busy with work and um you know school and stuff i still do all that type of stuff so i'm really hoping man to kind of just uh provide some content that's entertaining as far as you know just youtube and other stuff man you know we got a lot of we got a promotion video coming up uh we might have to push it back to like the um end of january but we do have a lot of that stuff going on man just check out the clothing line it's gonna be in the description and stuff like that man but i really appreciate you guys watching my video man i'm telling you it makes me very happy as a person man and i, I appreciate everybody to watch man i don't care how few or how many you know I, I i really appreciate you guys man so much you know when you guys click on that video it it brings me joy man i hope i entertain you guys man so we both can get like a mutual thing out of it bro but um man i love you guys i appreciate you guys so much you know and 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 i just want you guys to know how much it means to me when you watch the video because you know i try to put a lot of work into it man and i'm hoping we can grow and do more stuff i got a lot of ideas you know hopefully you guys can send me some suggestions and stuff like that you know on instagram and just kind of let me know what you guys want but man i'm telling you man you guys you guys make my make my day man make it worth being here so i appreciate you guys i love you guys man and we're gonna get these things out of the oven you know i don't mean to get emotional but we're gonna get these things out of the oven bro and we're gonna let you know what's happening.